So this video will discuss the concept of intensity. Okay, and uh, intensity is defined as the power per unit area. So, well, actually, what does that mean? Well, of course, if you have a certain amount of power and you concentrate it on a smaller area, then that means your intensity goes up. So it's actually quite easy to understand this concept. Now, in uh, A-level physics, this is actually how we use intensity is to decide or to see now how an intensity of a certain power source decays over distance. Now, let's consider a light bulb like so who is radiating light in all directions, okay, so, so 3D. And let's consider a person who is a distance R from this light bulb. Now, assuming that the power radiates uniformly in all directions, it means by the time you are here, or by the time the, the light travels here, then it would also have traveled to all other positions, which are also a distance r from the bulb and if you think about that that actually transcribes the surface area of a sphere okay of radius r and so the intensity right would be then p the power of the light bulb is uh, divided by the surface area of this uh, sphere of radius r and therefore you get this formula for the intensity, i equals to p over 4 pi r squared. Uh, but what is really important about this is that we see that i decays according to 1 over r squared. Okay, and so if I plotted a graph, it would look something like this. Okay, and it makes sense, right? The further away you are from the light bulb, of course, the less intense the light seems to get. So this applies to anything that radiates in all directions. Typically, these would be electromagnetic waves or sound waves. Um, there is also a more unique situation. And let's, for this, consider a rock that's thrown into a water or into a pond, and it creates water ripples. And so now the power source is here, but notice now that the power only radiates in one plane, which is in this case, the surface area or the surface of the water. And so again, if I'm over here and I want to see how strong these ripples are, some distance r away from the place where the rock uh, dropped, then this power would then only be spread over the circumference of a circle. Okay, and so we say that i, in this case, i only equals to p over 2 pi r circumference of a circle of radius r and so what's important now is i is now only proportional to 1 over r but you still get a very similar curve okay just that probably it doesn't decay as badly right so it might look something like this instead but it's still quite consistent with what we see in real life right where the power of a water ripple okay, gets weaker as we get further away from the source so that's the concept of intensity, and there is one more. So we have seen how intensity varies with distance. What about amplitude? Well, in the A-levels, we learned that I is proportional to amplitude squared. Okay, this is a nice little thing to know. Okay, and so if I combine this with what we have so far, then in something that propagates in all directions, so I, I like to call this a, a 3D propagation, okay, then we can say that the uh, since i is proportional to 1 over r squared, we can say that a squared is proportional to 1 over r squared, and so a is proportional to 1 over r. Okay, And of course, if I have something that propagates only in one plane, I like to call that 2D propagation. i is proportional to 1 over r, so a squared is proportional to 1 over r. And that's what we need to know about intensity.